What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Reggie Bryant. I am the author of The Wealth Journey and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. This video is a very special topic and it's something that I've been thinking about for a very long time and I just now found the words to put into this video to the specific person that I'm talking to. So if you feel like you're down on your luck, if you feel like you're broke, if you feel like you have nothing to live for, if you just feel down like for no reason, you may not even know why you feel like you're down. Anybody who's feeling down right now, this video is for you. Life is not fair and a lot of things have happened to a lot of good people. And I'll just say this, for those of y'all who didn't know, this has been an incredibly difficult year for me. And it may not seem like it because of how I carry myself, but the same is true for a lot of people who are feeling down or who have had like a very rough year this year. Because not everybody who's going through something is walking around with their head down. Not everybody who's going through something is walking around crying or complaining about their situation. Some people will just stay silent and just go through it alone and just go through it that way. That's how it is sometimes. But whether you're walking around with your head down or whether you're suffering in silence, this video is going to be very powerful for you. And I don't know your specific situation, but I can say the reason this year has been especially rough for me isn't because of anything financial, isn't because of anything that I'm going through as far as like being treated unfairly or anything like that. I lost a very, very, very close family member this year, like earlier this year, and it was devastating. We're talking about someone who was basically like another mom. You get what I'm saying? So that right there, has been extremely heavy on my heart and on my mind for the pretty much the entire year. And that's also something that my family's dealing with as well and we're getting through that together. But I say all that to say this, whether you just lost someone, whether you just lost your job, whether you feel like you're down on your luck, whether you feel like you're just worthless and you, there's no meaning in life, the message that I'm here to give you is you have to keep going. If you just got some bad news at the doctor's office, if you got a diagnosis that you didn't like, if you're in a situation where you feel like you're trapped, you're living with your parents and you feel like it's unbearable to live with them, no matter how big or how small your situation is to other people, to you, it is gigantic. And I know what that's like. So whether you're working in a job that you hate and you really, really, really can't stand the idea of working as so much as one more day or you might lose it. Or if you love your job, but everything else in your life is in shambles right now. If you're in a relationship that you know you have no business being in because of how toxic it is. If you feel like people are talking bad about you. All of these situations, somebody's going through one of these situations now. I'm just saying, like, these are the ones that are coming, you know, to the top of my head. And the reason I say all these things is because these are things that people are really, like, pondering on on a day-to-day -day basis. Worrying about who's talking about them. Worrying about how unfair their situation is right now. Thinking about the things they wish they said to that family member that has passed away. Wishing they could be out of that job that they hate so much. Wishing that they would just be treated better. Wishing that they can just be seen or whatever the case is or heard. A lot of people are feeling this way, but they are not saying a single word. And no matter the circumstance, you have to keep pressing forward. Before all that stuff was going on, you had things in your life that you were going for, whether it was a promotion at work, whether it was a degree, you know, going to college or getting a trade or something of that nature. You might have had certain health goals or physical goals that you wanted to reach in the gym and making sure you eat right and things of that nature. You had people in your life that you know you could go to, whether it's friends, family members, co-workers. You had books you could read. You had a certain routine that you followed. And sometimes in life, when bad news hits or the reality of a very hard situation hits you, it's hard to stay focused and it's hard to stay consistent with what you were doing originally. The stuff that was all going right, all that stuff takes the back burner when bad news hits you all at one time. And sometimes the impact of that feeling is something like running into a brick wall and breaking every single bone in your body leaving you unable to move. So you lay on your bed, you stare at the ceiling, you feel depressed, time goes on, you still feel the same way. You kind of just wallow in that despair. I told y'all this was gonna be a different video. I just had to just had to put that back in there. But this is all real what I'm saying right now though. It's easy to just kind of go from swimming 
to drowning in your own sorrow and self-pity or whatever you're feeling for yourself right now. It's easy to feel sorry for yourself and just lay there not doing anything, but you have to keep doing what you're doing. I told y'all, I lost someone extremely close to me this year. And for a few days, I didn't do anything but stare at the ceiling. And that's fine. There's time for grief, right? But there's also time that you need to keep pressing forward because I know she wouldn't just want me to keep laying around, not doing anything and just constantly pondering on it and pondering on it. And there's a time and a place for that. But if you replace that time with the time you would have normally been doing something else every single day, you are now doing yourself more harm than good. And that's what I realized. That's one of the biggest lessons I actually learned this year. And, you know, once I came to that realization, I started going harder. And it's made the grieving process a little easier. I, I done put out my book. I was posting three videos a week on YouTube. Now I'm doing two because that's more realistic for my schedule, to be honest with you. But what I'm saying is I went into, you know, a grind. I'm not saying to treat all your problems with grinding. I'm just telling you how I already had a routine going on before all of that happened. And my routine was posting YouTube videos every week. So once she passed away, a lot of that stuff kind of took the back burner and I didn't do anything for a long time. But then I was like, you know, what? I got to wake up. I got to get up. I have to do something. I have to keep pressing forward. I wasn't going to the gym like that during that time. I was like, I got to get back in the gym. You get what I'm saying? I had to understand that I had to keep pressing forward because only good things are going to happen when you press forward. But when you don't do anything, when you keep, you know, pondering on what's going on in your life that you wish would change, that stuff isn't changing because you're wishing it. That stuff isn't changing at all. It's just staying the same. So the only thing you guarantee by not doing anything at all is that everything stays the same or even gets worse. But when you keep pressing forward, that's a testament to your character. That's a testament to the amount of fortitude that you have. That's a testament to who you are as a human being. You have to keep pressing forward. And no one has to know about it if you don't want to tell them or if you don't want to talk about it. But people are going to see that you're different. Like something about you is different. You keep pressing forward despite whatever adversity, despite whatever is going on in your life right now, despite how down you're feeling. Like when you work out, on a day that you don't feel like working out for a perfect example, that is, those are some of the best workouts you can possibly do because you stood up to yourself. You stood up against the human nature of not wanting to do anything that day. You stood up to your desires with willpower. And it's not even with just feeling down. That was an example of just not feeling like doing it in the first place. And this is the financial channel, so I'm going to put a financial example up in there too. You might not feel like saving money this month. You might not feel like investing this month. You might want to buy something that you don't need that'll give you temporary happiness, whether it's a new entertainment system for your living room, whether it's a really fancy night out. You might be going through so much in life where you just feel like you need to treat yourself so you can kind of forget the chaos that's happening in your life. But if you trust the process and you just keep doing what you're doing, you keep saving the money, you keep investing the money, over time, you're going to have wealth built instead of just a lot of meaningless things that you surround yourself around that you don't even like anymore. You get what I'm saying? That's the same thing with life. You have to keep pressing forward because the ideas that you have in your head, the things that you feel like an urgency to complete, these are things, these ain't happening for no reason. These ideas are happening in your head because there's a purpose behind it. Whether it's you want to go to school for engineering or for business or for nursing, whether you want to go to school and learn how to code, whether you want to go to the gym and work out and get in the best shape of your life, if you want to read a book about a certain circumstance that you're going through in life, whatever the idea in your head is, you have it for a reason. And to ponder and to obsess over your current situation because it's less than what you wish it was is to shoot yourself in the foot. Because then you just stop everything. You put life on pause, but life doesn't stop. That's like playing a video game online and then trying to pause it. While the rest of the people who are interacting, they still going. You stopped, but everybody else is still moving. And then you come back from whatever it was that you were doing, only to find out that you done got killed like five times on Call of Duty. Might even come back to find that you done got kicked out of the game from inactivity. That's how life works. You can't just put life on pause. Even when you're going through something, you have to have a certain level of strength. I'm not saying it's not going to hurt. I'm not saying it's going to be easy because it's definitely not. Not a single part of what I've done at all this year has been easy, especially considering what's going on, especially considering the very tough things that I've had to deal with this year. Because on top 
of losing a very close family member. Literally directly after that, your boy developed pneumonia. Didn't even know I had pneumonia. I was walking around. I was working out. I was walking, running. I was going to work. I was living my whole life not even realizing I had pneumonia. I kept going back to the doctor and they kept saying, nah, you're good, you're good, you're good. They didn't even, I don't know what's wrong with doctors. Ever since COVID hit, doctors just said F it, <laughs> basically. But ever since 2020, it's like they just said, hey, <laughs> you know, I ain't touching you, I ain't looking at you. They just looked at me like, yeah, you, you're fine. You, you look perfectly healthy. Fool, I know I look healthy. I ain't feeling good. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But nah, that's, that's what was going on. So for months, I didn't know what was going on for me. Your boy, I, I'm, I'm dead serious, coughing up blood. Yeah, I ain't lying to you. Didn't know what was happening. It wasn't a little bit either. It was a lot. That might be TMI, but I'm just painting the picture for you. I'm letting you know, like, that's adding insult to injury. You just lost somebody who's extremely close to you. Now, all of a sudden, you, you feel like you're having health problems. You don't know what's going on. Coughing up red and orange and brown stuff. Like, it ain't right. Heart beating fast, not knowing. That was a very, very crazy experience for me. I mean, your boy was tired on top of that. Because when you when you get pneumonia, you get extremely fatigued. I'm talking like you, you be wanting to sleep all day, every day for weeks on end. And you still don't feel refreshed when you sleep. On top of your lungs stinging, feeling like you just ran 200 miles in freezing cold weather. You know what I'm saying? That's what it felt like. And even through all of that, like I just, I just kept going. I kept making my YouTube videos. But, but even through all of that, sometimes I ain't even gonna lie to you. I didn't have the energy to make YouTube videos. So what I did was I just, I was like, well, okay, I won't make a YouTube video today, but I'll plan out the video for tomorrow. I'll go ahead and start shooting the thumbnail shots. You know, okay, that's fine. I won't shoot a YouTube video today, but what I will do, I'll add another couple of chapters to my book. Or I might shoot a YouTube video today, not edit it, wait till tomorrow to edit it. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a message over to my cover artist and we're going to go over how my book cover is going to look. These are the types of things that I was doing. Okay, you know what? I'm not feeling 100%, so I'm not going to go a thousand like I do every single day. But I am going to send a few free copies of my book over to people that I trust to give me the feedback that I need to finalize this book and go from there. Stuff like that are examples of keep going. And at work, things were definitely crazy at the time. The team was changing. Things were just different in every way possible. I wasn't just going through it in my family. I wasn't just going through it with pneumonia. I also had stuff going on at work that I had to fix. I have a ton of responsibility. And there's nothing wrong with it. That's what I signed up for. That's what I like doing. That's the profession that I enjoy doing. But there was still a lot going on there. And no one knew. No one had a single idea that I had pneumonia, including myself. I still had a large team of over 250 people to meet a certain goal. And we met that goal. You get what I'm saying? I can't be sitting around like, man, I lost my family member and pondering on that. And then, man, I have, I'm sick. I don't even know what this is. And pondering on that and making it pour it on to the team. Because then at that point, I'm taking my wounds and I'm bleeding on other people who don't deserve it. That's what's happening. But if I take things one day at a time and I get clear with what my goals are and I understand what the purpose is and I understand that I need to trust the process no matter what's going on in life and that good things are going to happen then I know I need to keep on doing what I'm doing. I might move a little slower if I'm not feeling well. That's fine. Am, am I still moving forward? If the answer is yes, I'm doing the right thing. Sometimes is it going to register in my brain that I am still grieving and that I need to slow down? Absolutely it will. Is the reality going to hit me a little harder some days than others? Yes, it absolutely will. And it has. But am I still moving forward? Because if you're not moving forward, you're technically moving backward. It's just like I took a pretty long break away from YouTube. I think I took like three or so months away from YouTube. And I just didn't feel like myself when I did that. But I, I just didn't want to do anything. So I didn't for like three months. And to me, that was too long. And then when I came back. I forgot how to edit some of my videos and stuff like that. I was like, man, I had to I had to look up some things. And it took me like two hours longer than usual. And it already takes a long time to edit YouTube videos. But it took me like two hours longer than usual just to edit my videos. Because I didn't remember basic things. You get what I'm saying? So that was by not posting for that long, I feel like I moved backward. And I feel like half of my audience forgot this channel existed. Because even when I was making videos at like 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 subscribers, I was getting way more views than I'm getting now. And is that a complaint? No, because that is for me to carry. That is my ownership. I'm just telling you 
the impact of not doing anything and pondering on certain issues. These are things that I've done myself, so I know. And all I can say is continuing to move forward is only going to pull you out of this. It's going to make grieving easier. It's going to make all the thoughts that you have in your head, all the negative thoughts, all the pondering, it's going to make that easier. It's going to make your growth easier. When your company has to have budget cuts, think about it like this. Think about it as companies. When companies have to make budget cuts, they still have to relentlessly push forward because they've got to stay in business. If you just got bad news, if you just got let go from your job, if you feel like you don't know what your purpose in life is, if you even feel like you're borderline depressed, you have to take steps to do something about it. See, and if it gets to that point, see a professional. There ain't no shame in getting therapy or anything like that. No shame at all. And if it's expensive, there's other outlets. There's online therapists. There's people you can talk to. There's apps you can download. There's all kinds of things. Now, look, it's 2022. This is not gone are the days where you have to pay a fortune just to get that kind of professional help. I'm just saying. But as far as the help that I can help you with, I'm saying, like, if you feel like you're just behind in life, or you just feel like you're just dragging along, like you don't really know what you're meant for and you just feel kind of down because of it or if other circumstances in your life are happening in conjunction with everything I just said, you got to keep going. All that stuff happens. That doesn't mean you stop going to the gym. All that stuff's happening. That doesn't mean you stop reading. That doesn't mean you stop learning. That doesn't mean you stop going to work. That doesn't mean you stop getting paid. That doesn't mean you stop going toward any endeavor that you have in life. It just means that something hard is happening right now and it needs to be addressed in the right way. And doing nothing is not necessarily a way to address everything. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that you are in control of your life. And even though you're not in control of things that happen in life, just understand they're not happening to you. These things in life are just happening. And you just happen to be there while it's happening. Just like if it starts raining outside or snowing outside or if there's a tornado outside, it's not happening to you. It's just happening. You just happen to be there. You can either be in shelter when that happens or you can be out there exposed to it. I'm killing it with analogies today. Stuff that can get you through these things are listening to music, having a physically active lifestyle. And I'm not kidding. Like, I think that is some of the most slept on advice in the world. Having that physically active lifestyle, that takes so much stress out of your life. Like You just feel good. When I go to the gym, I feel good when I push those weights. I feel good when I sweat a little bit. I feel good, you know what I'm saying, when I work myself so hard that I'm a little out of breath. I, I'm like, hey, I need to get in better shape then. You know what I'm saying? I feel good after all that physical intensity. I feel good when I go hiking or when I walk around the neighborhood. It feels good. When I go rock climbing, that really feels good. Those things are healthier ways to cope than, you know, stuff like stress eating or like, you know, going to harmful substances like cigarettes or alcohol or, or pills or things like that. Like, you don't have to do all that. But as you deal with these problems and as you deal with the pain, you got to keep going. You got to keep pressing forward. Your purpose in life has not disappeared simply because you're going through something. You got to have that strength and that's going to drive you to do incredible things amid disaster, amid problems that are taking place in your life. And sometimes you have to realize life is not fair. I think everybody can agree with that and it's not fair for anyone, but we all have different pain tolerances. We have different degrees of what we go through in life. And for some people, you might say, oh, he ain't going through nothing. But for, for them, it might feel like their whole world just went upside down. You get what I'm saying? So who are we to say who's going through something and who isn't? To them, they're going through something. And to them, it's affecting them. And I don't know what your particular situation is. I shared a little bit of mine. But whatever your situation is, I can guarantee you whatever you're going through is going to hurt even worse if it comes with literally giving up on your goals and dreams. Because the more time you feed not doing something, the less likely you are to go back to it. And then eventually you can just be like, screw it, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Why, why even do it? You see what I'm saying? Like, that's what happens. See, this is the real conversation we're having today. This is what happens when I make a personal growth video because this is tied directly to personal growth. You have to keep growing no matter what. And if you have a situation that you can read a book on to educate yourself, like let's say you're in a financial situation or let's say you're in more debt that you'd like to be in, 
Have you read a book about it? Have you educated yourself on how you can better prepare yourself next time and things that you can do right now to better your situation? If you're having relational issues, have you read books about it? Have you read the five love languages? You get what I'm saying? Have you read crucial conversations? Have you read books on how to deal with conflict? Have you read books about purpose? Have you read books about people who have gone through tragic events? and traumatic events. Books can actually lead and guide you through certain situations. I'm not saying they're you know, the solution, I'm saying they can help you. Similar to how music can help you, similar to how working out and listening to podcasts can help you, listening and reading books can help as well. You're getting someone with expertise who has gone through that situation. And not to self-promote, but this is my channel, and so I'm gonna talk about my product, my book. I talk about several experiences I had. I talk about several hardships that I've had where I kept pressing forward. You're, I'm not saying you're not allowed to feel a way about it. I felt very drastic ways about my situation in a lot of times and I kept pressing forward. And you know what? Nothing but good things happened as a result of pressing forward and doing the right thing. I had my time where I was just sitting down feeling sorry for myself, but I, I, I decided I wasn't going to do that for too long. I decided, you know, I've been doing this for about a couple days now. This is too long. I, I gotta do something about this. I have to get up and do something. If I wanna see my situation change, me sitting here isn't gonna do anything. And it's definitely not gonna add any value to anyone. And a lot of those reasons and a lot of those things that I went through back then, and it was only like six years ago, but the things, the things that I went through back then, they put me in a mindset of, I have to help someone who's going through this as well. And that was a lot of the purpose behind writing my book. And it's also the purpose behind this video. So just know, life is going to get better. And you could be looking at someone like me saying, well, yeah, that's easy for you to say. But you really don't. You only know what I'm willing to share as far as what I'm going through. You have no idea. You get what I'm saying? The same is true for other people. You don't know if they're not telling you, if they're not saying anything, or if they're not even acting like they're going through anything. You, you can say it's easy for someone else to say, but you really don't know. We all go through things and we all must keep pushing forward despite what's going on. It might slow you down a little bit, that's cool. But the full stop, that's a no-no. These things in life happen for a reason. I don't know what that reason is half the time, but in time, I think we'll all find out. But in the meantime, you gotta keep going. You got to keep going. But anyway, that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth so you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.